Mm. Right, they just come from Ponsar and I'm up in Vina on the, the site of the Battle of Vina. Now it's uh, apparently it's in all all these fields, beer and the map. So I'm gonna head to Vina Church now and I'll show you on a, on a map where it is first. I'm gonna head to Vina Church to the the burial mound. Right, I'm on the spot uh, where you turn down to Vigna Church. Uh, this is where they reckon in the 1800s, they, when they were building this road, we had to come down to the church, that they uh, they found apparently uh, a burial round about Bure on this road where there was loads of uh, skeletons all chopped up and all that. And apparently they took them to Vigna Church and they put them in a, in a grave down in the old church. They dug an all there. And they built them here, and then partly the, another rumor is that when there was a big flood, that it all went down the bank, and they had to go and try and collect as much as they can. And it was weapons and there, but that's just a rumor. But it is documented they did move stuff from here to the old Vina Church. So we're gonna head now down to Vina Church, got Morris in the background, and to the Tumuli type of uh, mound. Right, the part by Vigna Church, uh, the new church we call this, because uh, if you go a bit further down this lane, there's an older church, which is ancient, and goes back uh, over a thousand years, that one. But uh, we're heading down this lane now, we're heading towards the burial mound of Vigna. But uh, this is apparently an old Roman road on maps, uh, so we're heading down this lane and uh, to the mound. Right, we come to the ancient church. Uh, we're gonna pass that, uh, keep on going straight down here. Right, we come to a bridge and uh, water's still flowing. It's gone a bit dry going up there. Look at it now. We're gonna head up this bit of a bank then. And uh, here's what I was telling you about before. Uh, partly when they found the uh, skeletons now, they put them in the old church, they built the thing, a uh, grave there, and then, as you can see, the bank is all given way by there now, and like in the other video I showed you the other day, uh, the San Island Road, uh, the bank come down, took all the gravestones down with there from this bank, and he went into the water, partly a woman come into uh, cleaned the church one morning, not this one, now the other, and they knew about this bank slipping. So she phoned the wicker and uh, they come up and they tried to save as much, you know, bones and all that and reburied them back in there somewhere. But that was in the 70s, I was, if I remember it. But we're going to head up here now to the burial mound. Right, for the record, uh, if you look down there, that's really, this is a very steep cliffside edge uh, and basically the mound is up on top of it. So we're not going to go too uh, close to that edge around the mound, but uh, that's the drop, oh, that's a uh, game over drop. So don't go, well you're not supposed to load in the field, so but don't go near that edge where we're going to end up there now. Right on my way up here, I just noticed this massive storm here. It is huge. And uh, it's on its own there. That's a strange one. But uh, we're going to head straight on. This little pathway goes back to the Spanish house, as uh, everyone's heard of. Yeah, we're going to keep on heading up here. And then we've got the mound. Absolutely massive. I didn't realise how big it was. I've been up here for years. But uh yeah, I'm gonna keep an a look. Like I said, there's a pure drop the other side of there, very dangerous. And if you look at this in relation to Mollus Castle, here's your mound, and there's Mollus Castle below behind it.
Pardon the breathing, just walked up a big nice big hill. So that's the mound. Right, just notice the gate open, so I uh, and have a little quick look in here. There is a pathway going all the way to the mound. This is known as the Kai Birth Mound or Field of Slaughter. Uh, I said uh, the Battle of Vina in the 13th century. Uh, they reckon no one was in this mound, and uh, it used to be an old Morton Bailey from all some of the connected with Morlas Castle. But uh, when they did do excavations in there, then don't know whereby they cut into this bank. Uh, they did find uh, by the skeletons and the weapons. Uh, when the archaeologists uh, they put the weapons back, and he took some bones home for testing, kept them. Like I said, I never really looked at the other edge of this. I'm not going to go too close, so I just seen the drop just now, like I said to you. It looks like it's built right on the edge of a cliffside, like. There is another fence down there, but you can see the drop there. This is the back of it. There's not much to see. Well, you can see the height in there now. I'm six foot, and it's almost uh, three times the size of me. So it's got to be about 12 to 18 foot tall. So it goes down there. I'm going to go up the top there now. To show you how it goes up. If you can see anything on the top. If you look here, it does look like uh, a part a bit more empty. Uh, it's not in other words, it's not a pure mound over. It does look cut out by there. So, and you can see the full size that stand on top there. How big it is. But you say you got more scars over there. Maybe they did put the cut out you know, when they done the excavations in the 1800s. I don't know. Uh, hard to see. There's not much more you can see on it. I put a few uh, bits of history on the, the video at the beginning and the end behind now. But that's it on uh, Kai Birth Mound. But there it is, that's uh, Kai Birth Mound. Uh, hopefully one day, I mean, we can get some uh, put a proposal in, maybe excavate it. But it is absolutely massive. How many people are in there? If it was from the Battle of Vina, we do not know. Uh, and like y'all just did say, the, the dates of the bones and stuff, it was from the Battle of Vina. But was there something you had previous before that? Uh, Who's to know? But uh, it's a major part of uh, Homo Murphysisti, which not many people know about. But uh, that's the Kai Birth Mound, the field of slaughter. Here's another angle of the mound in relation to the church. Uh, as you can see, uh, you got the old church beer and the mound there. So they reckon uh, the church which was there in the Battle of Vina was burnt to the ground. Whether that's true, it's not documented, I don't think. But uh, like I said, they've, well, that's what it was early on, over by there. 
that's what's documented as the Battle of Aina, but obviously who would have been these seals as well. What they've done, they've come all over the hill and they've had a battle here basically all over and said so, uh, the ritual of them days is to bury the, the bodies where they were slain and like I said, bodies have been found in here on this bank, so who's to know? Uh, but uh, that's it on the, the Battle of Aina.